Is carpet cleaning worth it? Steve Hansen here with the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningviz.com. So you know, when you think about carpet cleaning, it's a great add-on service for either your commercial or your residential cleaning company. And you know, the great thing about that is uh, you can make some good money cleaning carpet. And uh, I know that because, uh, you know, we offered that service in uh, both of our, our cleaning companies. And, um, you know, and uh, we used to uh, make a lot of money do, uh, cleaning carpets. You know, we're typically, we're, we charge by the square foot. Our price, we, we averaged 18 cents a square foot. Some case, in some cases, you know, we would go 21 cents, 25 cents. It all depend, depended on uh, the condition of the carpet. But, you know, it's a great add-on service, so if you're thinking about it and kind of on the fence and you're asking yourself, well, is it worth it? Yes, it is. So you're going to have an initial investment uh, of a portable equipment, you know, probably around $4,000. But, you know, that investment is going to make you a lot of money. In fact, you know, my very first carpet extractor, mobile, or portable extractor that I purchased, paid for itself on my very first job. Um, and uh, in that case, uh, it was actually, uh, I did uh, 400 office chairs uh, at a at an, uh, facility, and uh, that paid for my extractor, that job. So then, uh, you know, from there on, everything I did, the machine was paid off, uh, you know, everything there was just purely labor, you know, uh, because you got to think, remember that uh, carpet cleaning and or, and or upholstery cleaning, uh, both, you know, you don't use a whole lot of cleaning solution. You know, you're using dilutable products and, uh, you know, you're going to apply a pre-spray and you're going to dilute it one ounce per gallon or two ounce per gallon, uh, you know, typically, depending on what type of product you're using. But, um, you know, it's, so it's pretty low, uh, pretty low. And uh, so your, your cost for your cleaning solutions is nothing. It's all your equipment and labor. But... Um, Generally, you know, if you talk to carpet cleaners, professional carpet cleaners, most will tell you that they won't even uh, get out of their vehicle for, for anything less than $150 an hour. Um, so that really tells you, well, is it worth the clean carpets? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, the thing is, is uh, once you decide to do this, make sure that you get some training. That's very, very important. Uh, I would highly suggest that you would uh, get the IICRC uh, certified training. Uh, if you can't afford that, then, you know, the janitorial store has a, has, has a carpet cleaning uh, training program also. Um, you know, I, I'm certified with uh, IICRC, have been for many years, and I'm certified in, in, in many different areas. Um, uh, that's where I've, uh, you know, I got my, my expertise in uh, carpet cleaning. And that, and with, you know, over 30, well, 33 years now, uh, you know, in the cleaning industry. So... And I tell you, it makes a difference. You know, uh, you may be sitting there thinking, well, I don't need any training on carpets. But, yeah, you do. Uh, you need to be able to identify the, the type of fiber that you're cleaning uh, and uh, the method that you're going to use to clean the, to clean the carpet. Because you can actually damage the damage carpet. You can actually change the color of carpet. You, there's a lot of things you can do. So take the time to get trained and certified. Um, but uh, that's probably the best advice I can give you. Uh, that and then you know th think about the type of equipment you want now remember if you're thinking about getting a truck mount That's a huge investment. So you got the truck mount itself, and then you got the van uh, So, you, you know, we're talking You know geez uh, depending on you know if it's a used van or a new van um, Or if it's a used truck mount or a new truck mount, you know those prices could be anywhere from you could figure $50,000 on up so you know think about that uh, the reason I've never used any truck mounts is in in our companies is because uh, you got hoses drug through doorways and, and entrances and things like that. I didn't want to pay somebody to stand there and watch a doorway. Um, I just didn't want to do that. And the other factor is too is that when I'm doing a multi floor building, <coughs> multi floor building, um, I lose a little bit uh, as I as I continue to go up. Well, that's why with my portable equipment, I didn't lose any PSI or anything like that because you know I'm right there, uh, right in the right in the uh, uh, the room. But anyway, that's why I didn't do that. Uh, you know, it's a huge investment, and you do lose some uh, vacuum and, and and PSI because you think. Well, think about it. 
you've got a van parked out up front of this facility and maybe you have to run 300 foot of hose. Well, you're from the van to, to the tip of your uh, wand, you got 300 feet. Well, within that 300 feet, you know, PSI is going to drop, vacuum's got to drop, it has to. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, that's, that's just the way it is. You're, you're running 300 feet. But anyway, uh, that's why I don't, you know, you know, you may choose to do so, uh, and that's fine. You know, whatever you select to do is fine. But uh, in either case, I think, uh, you know, uh, carpet cleaning is definitely worth it uh, when you can make $150 per hour. Uh, in fact, the, the best hourly rate that I ever did um, was, uh, I think, was $325 per hour. And uh, how I did that is that we always charge by the square foot. Uh, we never charge by the hour for any of our uh, carpet cleaning. Uh, so we charge by the square foot. And... Um, and then just through my, my systems and processes that I have for cleaning carpets, I was just efficient at it. And, you know, the, the method just worked very, very well. So that was, that was my best uh, hourly rate that I ever did uh, was $325. Uh, although I have a, a friend of mine, uh, you know, that uh, did better than that. And uh, so he holds a record. Uh, and I can't remember what Matt's... Uh, I think it was 300 something. Uh, I, I can't remember the number, but it was better than it was a better hourly rate than mine. But you know that just goes to show you that that's the the kind of money you can make cleaning carpets. So and when you ask yourself, is it worth it? Sure, it's worth it. So just get the training, get the right equipment, and uh, you know you've you've already got existing clients in most cases. So those would be your very first customers. So hit up your current clients, let them know that you that you're providing carpet cleaning. You know, and uh, oh, I just want to add too, when you do buy uh, buy any equipment, make sure that you get one that is a P, uh, adjustable PSI. Uh, don't fall into the trap to where you're buying a piece of equipment where it has 150 PSI or, or 500 PSI or, you know, something like that there. Make sure that it's an adjustable PSI because um, typically you're always cleaning copper around 300 PSI. And uh, when we clean upholstery, uh, we're only using 50 PA, PA, uh, PSI. So that's why whenever I buy a piece of equipment, I always like to uh, use that piece of equipment for more than just one task. So my carpet cleaning equipment, I can clean carpets and I clean upholstery and I can clean hard floors too. So remember that. Um, so on hard floors, you would typically want something that has, uh, you know, a, a PS. Uh, 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 1200 PSI uh, because that's the maximum uh, PSI that you would use to clean some uh, uh, hard surfaces. Uh, that, that range will probably be anywhere from around 700 to 1200 PSI when you're cleaning certain tiles and, and uh, uh, stone and things like that. But that's why, that's why you do that because now I've got a wide range. You know, I may be spending you know, four or $5,000 on this portable piece of equipment or my truck mount or whatever it may be you know, which is much higher, but uh, we're talking portables. So on the portables, you know, if I'm spending four or five thousand dollars on that piece of equipment, I want to make sure that it does more than just clean carpet. So when I do purchase that, I will have, I will be able to uh, clean hard floor surfaces, stone, ceramic. Uh, then I also be able to clean upholstery. So that means that I can clean couches and sofas and, and uh, um, partition walls uh, and uh, wallpaper. Uh, is another one I can clean, uh, and along with carpet. So keep that in mind. So when you do ask yourself, is it worth it? Uh, is carpet cleaning worth it? It definitely is. So that's all I got for you. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button and share. And uh, uh, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We have, we have hundreds of videos uh, for cleaning companies uh, for both commercial and residential. Till next time, see ya.